Thank you for asking that question. Um, that's a great question. Um, as way of background, I work with an organization called Just Vision. We're a team of Palestinian, Israeli, North and South American filmmakers, human rights advocates, and journalists. And we utilize media to highlight the work being done by Palestinian and Israeli nonviolence leaders. Now let me take you a step back. We emerged in 2003 at the height of the Second Intifada um, in response to the lack of mainstream media coverage of these nonviolent um, efforts taking place on the ground every single day. Um, and, and what we were seeing captured on the media and continue to see today is oftentimes in mainstream media, um, the Palestinian-Israeli conflict is, is, is captured through the lens of violence and extremism. And so there's a plethora of reporting from Israel and occupied Palestinian territories um, that presents the violence and the extremism and the political stagnation that's taking place. But what is often underreported in this context it are the nonviolent efforts of Palestinians and Israelis who are working to, um, to, to working nonviolently to end occupation of the conflict. Um, so we've, we've utilized media, primarily documentary films, but also in conjunction with educational resources to, um, to garner attention to these efforts. And, and through our films and our multimedia, um, we've been able to reach continents all over the, all over the world, all seven continents, um, and today take these stories deep into communities and campuses um, to have constructive conversations about um, the ways in which um, we can build support for these efforts um, and ensure that they are sustainable and that these leaders are protected in a very, um, in what has today become a very, in, in many instances, a very vulnerable situation in the face of political repression and, um, and increased military aggression towards nonviolent effort, efforts on the ground today.